Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Adora Salido here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about coding and sort of getting into coding and learning to code. So this is something that I'm kind of passionate about and I've just really enjoyed learning to code. So I decided to make this video to kind of tell you guys, one, how I got into coding and two, share some like tips and tricks for like if you're interested in learning to code. Um, I just want to say I'm by like no means like a pro. Um, I've learned a few like coding languages and I just enjoyed learning and a lot of it has been self-taught. So I just wanted to share some like tips and tricks in case you wanted to get into it and learn what you need if you want to get started. <laughs> okay, so kind of how I got into coding. I'd actually already started playing around with HTML, which I think most people do if you've ever used Tumblr or like Blogspot. So I've been blogging for like, since I was like 15. And so I kind of got to play around with HTML and like, you know, going into like the editor and changing stuff. And I used to love doing things like that because it kind of made me feel more like creative and I could play around with my blog or website at the time. And that was kind of the extent of it. And then I started my master's at Imperial College and they were, they had partnered up with this organization called Code First Girls, which was trying to empower more women and get more women interested in coding and teaching them to code for free. So they partner with universities um, and have courses going on at these universities. So, so Imperial College was one of their partners at the time. And so I just decided, you know what, I've always kind of been interested in this, but I don't really know much about it and I'm not sure what it is exactly. So I just wanted to learn. So I applied, I got in, and I ended up doing their level one program, which is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So those three languages are more um, useful for like web development, especially front end web development. And yeah, I enjoyed it. And at the end of the course, we had a competition to make a website. And me and my friend ended up making this website, which came third in the competition. And I think that sort of also boosted my little um, ego and interest as well. Because there's something amazing about, you know, learning something and being excited about learning something, but also getting that validation that you can actually do it and you're good at it. And yeah, so I just kind of got more interested. I started learning by myself a lot more. And like I said, those three languages are more for front end um, web development. And after that, I decided to go on to the level two course. So after I finished my master's, they also do courses outside of universities. So I applied for the level two and I wanted to do Python. I wanted to learn Python, which is good for back end web development as well. And it's also useful for loads of different things as well. But I knew it would be beneficial for learning to create websites from scratch. So I wanted to do Python. They also offer Ruby as a course. Um, so after my master's at Imperial, I applied for level two with Code First Girls to learn Python. And they partnered up with Marks and Spencer for that. And I think they partnered up with different organizations as well. I know my friend learned, I think Ruby, or she learned it with Twitter. And yeah, so what is great about Code First Girls is they sort of partner up with these organizations or universities. And they have volunteers who teach um, girls to code. And it's, it's actually amazing. And that's kind of how I started. And yeah, so level one, I learned HTML, CSS, and a bit of JavaScript. And then level two, I learned Python. And I have absolutely enjoyed doing that. And I just want to continue. I want to learn other languages as well. And primarily focus on web development. So along my journey of learning to code, I also set up She Codes NG, which I kind of call like a club for women who are interested in learning to code. So it's sort of for beginners or mixed skills actually. And it's more like a safe space where you can ask questions and just talk and discuss with like other women who are also on this journey of learning to code. And it started off as a Facebook group because I was interested in sort of empowering women and getting more women interested in tech jobs and the tech industry because it's one of the fastest growing industries and women are still underrepresented in that space. So I wanted to get more girls, especially in Africa, interested in coding and learning different skills. So I set up She Codes NG and we had our first workshop in December, which involved getting girls to come along, learn HTML and CSS um, over the course of a day and just kind of play around um, with 
learning to code and figuring out what types of things they could be interested in and what kinds of languages they might want to learn in the future if they do decide to take the next step and, and take courses. So that is the whole aim of She Codes NG and I hope to expand it to like more scholarships and full-time courses for girls in Africa. And we're starting in Nigeria and doing it in different cities and hopefully we'll move on from that. Okay, next part is some tips and tricks that I personally would recommend if you're interested in learning to code and sort of what kinds of resources works for me and what I've heard works for other people as well. Okay, so my first tip is practice, practice, practice. Like with coding, it's one of those things where you just need to practice to get the hang of it. Like you can learn, you can take classes, you can do whatever, but if you don't practice, you kind of will never grasp it. I would recommend maybe signing up to the 100 days of code challenge that I know people do. I tried it and did fail um, because I skipped quite, quite a few days, but I would recommend it if um, you know you need like an accountability check to keep yourself on track so that you are focusing and constantly practicing. Secondly, there's so many free resources and websites and ways to learn to code. Um, I learned for free because Code Press Girls was offering courses that you could apply for. So I would definitely look up um, and see if there's anything free in your city or your town or whatever. And if you are good at self-learning and learning online, there's so many websites. Like I'll leave a longer list, but like Code Academy, um, you, Udemy, I think there's some free and paid ones, but they're not that expensive. Um, there's so many ways, even W3 Schools, it's like a good website for HTML, CSS, um, if you need like little tips and tricks and they have like templates and things like that, so it's actually incredibly easy to use. Okay, third, and I think one of the most important is make sure you understand a concept before you move on. And I think a lot of us are quite guilty of doing this, especially with coding, you kind of just, especially when you're learning, you kind of copy and paste code without understanding what it means but as long as it does what you want it to do you're like oh okay it works no go back google do your research make sure you understand what you're doing before you move on because along the line you're just not going to understand what that code did or what it does or like so yeah always make sure you understand something before you move on so yeah that is it thank you so much for watching um i would love to do more on this if you have any more questions about coding then don't forget to comment um yeah bye